Hello everyone, I am Rakhibul Hassan Khan, Assistant Professor of Assam Downtown University. I am going to discuss about push-up test of contact lines. Push-up test is very important test after insertion of contact lines, which helps quick assessment of any abnormalities. So, let us start to know about push-up test of contact lines. Number one, assessing the tightness of the lens is a measure of the fitting relationship of the lens with the eye. It means after insert the contact lens, we have to notice the contact lens movement whether tightness or free. Next number two, it is the most effective way to judge the dynamic fit of the lens. The practitioner moves the lens vertically through pressure on the lower eyelid using the finger. It means we will move the lens vertically through push up on lower eyelid. See the diagram. This is lower eyelid. We will push vertically through pressure on the lower eyelid by a finger. Next, number three. The lens is allowed to recenter while being observed by the practitioner. It means after moved the lens vertically, then we have to notice the contact lens whether it come back to center or not. Next, number four. The practitioner assess the relative ease with which the lens is displaced and the speed of its recovery to its original position. It means here the practitioner mainly assess for how fast and without any difficulty how it come back to its original position or center of the eye. Next, number five, a percentage date has been proposed with 100% representing a lens that is impossible to move and 0% a lens that falls away from the cornea without lead support. It means from the studies it has found that contact lens 100% impossible to move after fitting and 0% or hardly it falls away. Next number 6. The significance of the push-up test showed the movement of fluid beneath a soft lens is determined by the squeeze in the bracket firmly press something soft or yielding typically with one's finger pressure or the force between the front surface of the eye and the back surface of the lens. It means when we will push up the contact lens, we will use only one finger in front of the eye by pressing firmly or softly. Next, number seven. As squeeze pressure increases, the amount of fluid exchange 
decreases. It means if we will press hardly then pressure will increases and the tear flame from inside will less come out. Next number 8 soft contact lens movement shows a poor correlation to squeeze pressure which act as a limiting factor above which a lens shows no movement. It means in soft contact lens hardly we can see movement of contact lens after giving pressure. Next number 9 this correlation is illustrated. They show that lenses may have a low enough squeeze pressure for fluid exchange to take place and yet show no movement. It means because of tear film exchange and contact lens come to back again its original position that's why soft contact lens movement is not visible. Next number 10 in comparison tightness as measured by the push-up test showed a linear relationship with squeeze pressure and so should be considered the arbitrator in the bracket and independent person in judging lens fit. It means for observe the movement of contact lens we should appoint an independent person for judging lens movement or fit. Hope you all have understood the push-up test of contact lens. Thank you.